Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to the exclusive showroom for the Vermeer DLC. That DLC is going to be available next week and we have an early access to it. So we can show you every single piece and every single detail that it's coming with it. Come and join us in our exclusive showroom to see the five pieces of equipment and also the new functions that are coming with this new DLC. You're gonna need the 1.7 version also, so we're going to have an update for the game. So, with all that, let's check everything and let's see what to expect from it. Well, the first piece of machinery that we have here sitting in the ground, as you can see, it's a baler. But it's not any baler. This is the first self-propelled baler that we are getting in Farming Simulator franchise. Now, as usual, this is a mod by Giants, and how everything works and how everything looks is awesome. Like the all the external details, all the tiny bitty details everywhere, everywhere. It's looking amazing. But, I mean, you need to get it, you need to test it. So we have prepared a testing ground to see this in detail and to see how everything works, how everything moves. Let's leave these guys in here. Let's leave Grandpa there taking, uh, taking a look at this new machinery and let's jump to the testing grounds to see all the details about it. Well, here we are in the field. This is a testing. Uh, this is a testing unit, as you can see. It's been through some rough testing, but uh, well, it also gave us the opportunity to see how detailed, how detailed, and how good it looks with the new Wehrmacht and the new Dermax. This giants made for this piece of equipment. It looks absolutely, absolutely beautiful and absolutely detailed in every single place that it needs to be. Now I'm curious about the geometry of the front wheels. Is well, as best weird so let's see how it works let's see how everything moves and let's check also the interior so just jump in well this is the interior and the interior of course looks absolutely perfect and everything looks in place everything is where it's supposed to be we still have the small glitching and mo we've moving with the camera when we are inside still don't know why but we're gonna check on everything and we're gonna see how everything moves and how everything works let's jump outside to fire it up Let's start playing with this. The sound engine somehow is familiar. I kind of know. Uh, it's like I've heard it. Uh, I've heard it before. But let's start driving around. Set light sets. We have one light set, two light sets, three light sets. Beacons. We have regular rotating beacons. We don't have. Uh, we don't have strobes. We have the nice belt right there. And of course, we got the indicators, and they are on top. These lights are reflectors. They are not lights. Okay, I guess it's fine. And now let's pay attention to the reflection, to the to the geometry of the front wheels. I just press backwards, and they do that. Frontward, and I go inside. Now I wonder, is it scripted or it's random? I go backwards. I go inside. That's funny. It move weird. It move a little bit weird. If I turn left. Without accelerating, turning left actually accelerates. If you press the stick backwards, it actually moves without turning, without accelerating. I'm not pressing the accelerator at all, I'm just turning. And it's like some... somehow like a tank. Yeah, but we have that feeling. Now I'm gonna drive around to see to see that you know I, I like to pay attention to the to the weird stuff. See, of course, pistons and everything working working like a charm. Dynamic hoses, absolutely beautifully done, and they are even animated. Those front arms they are animated. They are stick to the front, to the center piece in right there. But they are moving like very very naturally. You see with the with the bumps. That is, uh, that is next level animation right there, <laughs> it's beautiful. Now let's see how everything works while using it for the purpose that it's meant to be, which is a self-propelled baler. Let's jump into, whoa, the turning is a little bit uh, extreme. Um, anyway, so let's bring in the menu because there is also something new coming with these balers. So with the interface active for us all, if we press F1, we have the, the regular 
actions turn on Baylor the AI worker menu you cannot hire a worker that's a, that's a thing well it's very difficult for for anybody to program or to try to script where you are going to draw up the straw so it is understandable that we cannot uh, hire a worker now there is also very something very important at the bottom of the help menu you see the number of bales the number of bales that this unit has produced that is actually something new and it's exciting something that on consoles it's beautifully added so let's see how it works first thing first we're gonna lower the pickup we're gonna turn on the baler so everything start moving the engine revs in we see the um these bells like scrolling and moving and spinning around all the pieces moving so here we go let's start uh, let's start. i don't need to do anything else i'm gonna turn on the automatic drop so i don't need to drop the bale so when it's full it's gonna drop it automatically but you still need to come it come to a full stop so bailing speed 11 miles per hour working speed and it's quite wide and it's quite wide. it works quite quite well now I wonder the animation of dropping the bale how that's gonna be we're gonna fool whoops stop like this bale is off and it's gonna push it away with this with this piece so you can actually go backwards a bit and push it away a little bit more and push it there you go and you can you can keep up you can keep collecting the bales now I wonder is there any kind of detail inside of the cabin that actually help us out we're inside and there is a there is a working camera right there that shows us the pickup of course it doesn't work it's beeping right now but I don't see any indicator here inside the baler that tells me that it's that it's full so we wait 100% a little bit more okay now it's dropping it and we don't see from inside we don't see an indicator of when it's done now let's see let's keep doing amazing piece of equipment fresh and new piece of equipment which is beautiful now let's go back to the demonstration area and let's turn it off and let's go to the next place well the next piece of equipment is another baler this time a regular pull behind baler the Vermeer 605 m it's actually quite big actually quite big I love the tires love all the details I mean the rear the rear part of it looks exactly exactly like the self propelled baler a little bit less details here and there but the main shape and the main like the belts and everything it looks exactly the same let's hook it up and let's see how it works also in the field connected have the connection houses and as usual bring in the menu in here we also have the bale counter so we have we are we're gonna change the bale sizes I'm gonna make uh, bigger bales so we're gonna go for 180 bales now I'm gonna lower the pickup turn on the baler you see all the beautiful animations engine revving up so let's start let me activate the turn on automatic automatic drop let's go for it now I have the impression that the pickup area is smaller on this one again the animations and how everything moves it's beautiful see the the baler is moving in a different way the pickup is moving on a different way like there's two pieces moving just right there of the wheels with suspension held all the belts and stuff so it's actually it's actually a nice a very very nice piece of equipment amazingly amazingly done now, I don't know I'm gonna drop it in the middle of nowhere and here it goes bye bail no I'm gonna need that bail later ow well um, let's keep going and then let's see the next the next piece of equipment
Our next piece of equipment is a mower, the Vermeer TM1410, and this is, in my opinion, the best piece of equipment on the entire DLC. And you may say, it's a mower, yeah David likes mowing, yes I do, but at the same time, I'm being critic with it. And this is actually a beautiful piece of equipment, how it works, how it moves. We're gonna see it in a minute and you're going to understand and probably agree with me that the Vermeer 1410 mower is one of the best pieces of mowers that we have available. Now inside of the tractor, when we are like towing it behind, it's just a mower and it's folded behind. Let's fire up the tractor and unfold the mower and you will see details that are absolutely beautiful, especially on the animations. Let's do that. Look, 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 oh, this is, this is gorgeous, a little bit violent when it falls, when it falls to the ground, in all honesty, but this is beautiful, how it works, how it moves, how everything, how everything is related one piece to the other, this is absolutely gorgeous, now, we have even the space, it seems that it clips through, that these pistons are clipping through the mower. No, they're not. They're not. There is a hole in there for them to actually operate properly. Houses and everything. This is a beautiful piece of machinery, a piece of art. Visually talking about, of course, but how about how it works? Well, that is even better. Let's jump into the tractor. And if we accelerate, let's turn it on. And if we accelerate... The mower positions itself at the right side, so it goes parallel to our driving direction. So we're gonna stop, and I'm gonna pull out the menu. And if we press right, come on, Xbox controller, come on. Okay, if we press left bumper, you see that there is with the right stick there is an adjustment to be made. So if we press left and right the mower is gonna switch the mower switches now if we accelerate now the mower is on the left side of the tractor it is beautiful how it works how you can adjust it yourself to whatever you are doing for example i'm gonna take a tight turn in there look look when i get to the end I'm gonna take a tight turn, so I'm gonna just position it out and I'm gonna scratch with the other piece right now I'm using all the reach now, we're gonna go backwards and I'm gonna move it to the left So now it's out. It's completely outside of the field. It is beautifully made. Beautifully made. I say Giants, bravo. It takes a lot of time to actually adjust the mowing zones and all these stuff that we had to deal with the zero turn. This is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now we can also hire a worker. And the worker is going to do the mowing for you. Is he going to respect the position of the mower that you have? Let's check it. Now let's see. Let's see how smart our worker is. Or how... Well, you un you get what I mean. You, you, you understand when I say smart workers. Now let's see what he's going to do. It's gonna line it up. And it's gonna work just like a charm. Now I'm gonna do another pass and I'm gonna move the mower to see how the worker is gonna react to it. So I'm gonna just stop it here. Stop it, worker, stop it. Now I'm gonna move it here. So right now it's gonna be on the other side. If I hide the worker, let's see what happens. It respects the position of the tractor that we had before. But as soon as it gets to the end of the field, let's see what he's going to do. There is a fence. Uh, well, 
we'll see what he does with the, with the fences. But he's gonna be better. He's gonna, he gonna be worse than myself. So let's see what he does. Stop it! Stop it! Stop! <laughs> there you go. Come to a stop. Now let's see. When. When the worker is going backwards, the mower stays behind it. Don't move. So let's see. He should position the mower to keep mowing the grass next to it and not with the tractor. Here we go. And that's what I say. That's why I say this piece of equipment is the best in the pack, according to my opinion. Now, Let's finish this thing. I'm going to finish. You're not going to see it, but I'm going to finish mowing this field. And let's jump into the next piece of equipment. Our next stop is our wind drawer, the Vermeer R2800. We have it just sitting here, prepared for the action. So let's hook it up. And we're going to see that what I was saying of the functions of moving moving and adjusting work sizes and, and, and the rest is also a thing in this one. One of the one of the details that I really like, you fold it or you unfold it, and you see that actually the piece that holds it to the ground when it's not connected, it disappears and appears on top. I've seen that feature somewhere, don't remember where, but I've seen it before. So let's unfold it. And when you unfold it, pivoting wheels goes down, and we have it there. Now, if we pay attention to the help menu. It's amazing the amount of hoses that we have here. This is absolutely insane. So we go and we can lower it, turn it on. And then we also have, like we had on the mower, the right adjustment, left bumper and right joystick. And we can actually adjust the width that we are going to work. And I believe also the like the the size of, uh, of the center line of grass that we're going to have. Let's check it out. Beautiful animation, of course. Right here. We're missing some spots. So let's try to widen it. And see the effect. So we're going to get to the end of the field. We're going to park it here. And we're going to go and check the last piece of equipment that's coming with the Vermeer DLC. The next one is our straw blower DPX 9010 by Vermeer, of course. We're going to park it and we're going to see how everything works with this beauty. So I have it here in the shed. I have my Kubota tractor and my Kubota skid steer. This one has been through some, some intense things. Uh, now here we have the unit, of course. And I don't need to repeat it myself, but I will. All the every single detail there is just stunning. So giants as as its best. Every single small piece of bolt and things are, is there. Everything it's there, and it's and it's of course it's beautiful. Now let's hook up to the tractor, and let's see because we have two. Whoops, to the tractor. Because we have two ways of actually loading uh, loading this piece of equipment. I'm going to use the traditional way first and then we're going to use a, a, a different way. So here we have our straw blower. Now this is straw blower, you see we have some pieces here and there. Now we usually load them. We usually load them using a, a skidster or a telehandler or whatever you want to use. So I'm going to use the traditional way. So I'm going to go grab one of these bales that I've prepared here. Gonna go to the side. Gonna elevate it, and we're gonna put it here gently. There we go. Baylor in. Skitster out. In the straw blower will work. Just like that. Go in, it recognizes the capacity. Now we go to our cow barn. 
and it's gonna trigger the animation so we can start blowing up the the straw to our poor this poor cow is gonna is gonna love me forever more uh, let me move it make me feel bad so let me move a little bit there you go so we're gonna we're gonna finish that bale the bale is not getting consumed the bale just disappears which well I guess it's fine I guess it's fine it is it is what it is so let me now go to the other side again where we have the balers have here our beautiful cows so I'm gonna go to the other side of the of the of the cow pasture and we have here set up another bale I'm gonna move that bale for the animation actually to be to be shown properly so here we have our bale in the ground our straw blower tractor no again pay attention to the menu if we press left bumper more animations and more things happening in this Vermeer DLC this piece goes down it accommodates gently in the ground and you're gonna see how these how these small bars get below the bale now need to be need to be precise like some sort of an auto load function would haven't be would have been nice but if you want to do it manually this is how you do it now you lift it in it goes in come on come on well the bailer the bail is there sometimes there you go it takes a little bit of, uh, of time to do it but you got the idea you are able to automatically load the bail without the need of a skister or anything else that you have that you need to buy or rent or whatever you poor cow again Dean sorry so we're gonna do that again and we're gonna go back to the store we're gonna check on your commands now is the time for you to order your new pieces of equipment and if you check on the on the description there is a link where you can actually pre-order it for PC if you haven't already and there is actually a discount these days so go free go check it out and uh, you get it at no extra cost with a discount and you are actually helping the channel so let's go back let's recover this equipment and go back to the store So welcome back to the store, welcome back to the expo, and here we are again with the five pieces of equipment that are coming with the Vermeer DLC. Jump into the details. Let's see what do we have and let's see what are you going to order. Well lastly in the in-game store, um, classic review of what the what the DLC includes. So we have a, um, a straw blower, we have the self-propelled baler. We have our windrower, our baler, and we have our mower. Options in the store, actually not a lot. This one, the straw blower, has nothing but the license plate. It holds two bales, 2.4 tons, and it requires 105 horsepower. Now this one, it's, it's special. Uh, you can actually set up the size of the bales that you want to produce. It holds 4,000 liters, and it costs... Two hundred and fourteen thousand dollars, which is crazy. It's very, very expensive. Options about that one: the rim color. You can go yellow or standard. That's it. And then the wheel brand: Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Mitas. And in some of them, you can actually go with the white tires. Other than that, anything else to choose? But the standard Vermeer options in the store. So, since it's a DLC, we're not going to see modded versions of it, but it will be interesting, actually. I'd like to see like a cutter in the front, you know, like a two for the grass, um, a mower, front mower. Do do you do it all at once? That'll be that'll be awesome. <clears throat> the next one is our windrower. 
80 horsepower and 8.5 meters uh, width. It's actually adjustable. It's weird that it doesn't tell that it's adjustable, but I believe it's up to 8.5 meters. And actually here, nothing else to configure. Only the license in case you want to see it. And that's it. That's it. <clears throat> the fourth piece of equipment the baler the baler itself which is actually uh, way cheaper than the self-propelled baler but you are going to need a tractor so you measure how many bales are you going to produce and if it's worth the investment now this one like the other ones no options at all we only have uh, the license plate to set up and it can also produce different size of bales in this case 105 horsepower to be used pulled by a tractor <clears throat> last but not least we have our mower you know that i like grass and this mower actually surprised me a lot how it works how it moves how you can adjust it how the hitch works and everything i believe this is absolutely absolutely gorgeous and to me the best piece of equipment in the pack of course the self propelled baler it's cool it's awesome but we have seen a tractor pulling a baler behind and the effect is the same now this mower and how it works how the wings goes to one side to the other how you can manually adjust it and the in its behavior actually changes to me that is outstanding so my favorite piece of the mod option here we have wheel brands trailer bog and sign and nothing else but the license plate 6.3 meters width and 110 horsepower needed to pull it so here we go well with all that guys i'm gonna leave you here and i'm gonna take some orders from these fellas that are going to buy some stuff if you want to buy the dlc in case you don't have it remember to check the link on the description below having said that guys and as usual be nice play nice and see you around in the channel bye